In this video, learn how to connect your MetaMask wallet to the Binance Smart Chain. Before we start, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and send me a few good comments. Once we have MetaMask and Binance Smart Chain linked up, we can go ahead and use all the services that are on the Binance Smart Chain, like BakerSwap, PancakeSwap, Venus, and everything else easily using MetaMask. So firstly, you want to go to MetaMask IO. Now I am assuming that you have MetaMask set up already. If you don't have MetaMask set up and you are brand new to MetaMask, I will also go to video on how to set up MetaMask from scratch. I will also link that in the description. But what we want to do is open up our MetaMask. So I'm assuming that you have it. You can go through extensions. Just go to MetaMask right here and you can open up the mini window. Now you can go through to the three dots on the right hand of the screen right here and just go to expanded view. That is just going to give you an easier way to do this. This is the expanded view and then we want to go ahead and actually set up Binance Smart Chain. Couple of really important things to note before we start setting things up. Firstly, you don't need to create a brand new MetaMask wallet to configure Binance Smart Chain. You can actually go ahead and do it. You can actually create a brand new account to visit your wallet. So, instead of having a separate wallet, you might want to actually differentiate of your wallets, maybe an Ethereum wallet from a Binance Smart Chain wallet. You can then go and name that wallet and that will be created within a second for you. Then you can go ahead and link that one up to Binance Smart Chain. It's not absolutely necessary and you can add Binance Smart Chain functionality to the same wallet that you hold some Ethereum token. Let's add BSC now. So we just click this icon in the right top right hand corner and that you want to come down to your setting right here. So Click on setting, then we can come over to network on the left hand side. We'll click on network and we can add the information. Once you are in the network, you can see all of the networks that are supported within your current MetaMask wallet right here. So Ethereum mainnet would be the main one. We are gonna come to add network so that you can see this change and now we can edit some network name and other parameters. You can go back to Binance Academy and you can see that the articles gives you all information that you need. So firstly, it tells us that the network name should be smart chain, doesn't absolutely have to be, but I'm just going to put that in for being correct. So you can put smart chain in here. Then you need the new RPC URL and you can come back and see that here so we can just literally copy and paste this on just so we don't make any mistakes. So we'll copy that right in here. And then chain ID. We can have a look chain ID is 56. So I will put 56 in here. The currency symbol is optional. You can see the recommended BNB so when you get assets in your account, there are going to be valued like this. So I will put BNB like that. Then the block explorer again is optional. I will just put in because why not just to be complete and make sure that we get everything done correctly. So that's literally it. Just copy and paste it in here and then you can go ahead and click on save. You will see on the left hand side that smart chain has been added as an optional into the current supported networks in your MetaMask. That's done. And you will see straight away that wallet has now changed in a couple of different ways. Firstly, instead of having Ethereum right here or ETH as the assets that we get values in. It's now changed to BNB and other obviously main difference is the Ethereum icon now disappeared and we have the Binance Smart Chain icon. So we can be pretty sure now that we did the right things and there were no mistake in what we copied and pasted our because the MetaMask is telling us that it's got obviously a data feed to give us those icons. One other thing that is very important to note is that if you do have Ethereum-based tokens in your MetaMask, then you won't see them here. 
So you can see I had Ethereum and ERIT tokens and that is completely gone now. So if we go up to the networks and then we go back to Ethereum mainnet, you will see the switch back we get to the Ethereum icon and then we can see those added here. And then we switch back to the smart chain down here and it will switch for us. Now we can go ahead and try and add some Binance coin into our MetaMask wallet to make sure 100% that it works. Subscribe if you want daily helpful crypto content and I will see you in the next one.